In this tutorial, you will learn how student ePortfolios are created and how to manage ePortfolio content. This video will not focus on teacher ePortfolios as they function just like a teacher's My Files. Each year that a student has an eBackpack account, a grade level folder will automatically be created within their ePortfolio folder. For example, a student who uses eBackpack from 9th through 12th grade will ultimately have a 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade folder. We recommend that students store important works within their ePortfolio that demonstrate their progress throughout the year. There is no limitation on file type that can be stored within ePortfolio. The behavior is different in current grade level folders compared to past grade level folders. Let's look at the current grade level to begin with. Students can manage their current grade level ePortfolio in much the same way as their My Files. They can create organizational folders for different subjects. They can also edit, rename, and delete files. Students can drag and drop folders or files to quickly add content from their My Files to their current ePortfolio folder. Past grade level folders, however, are read only. This means that the students will not be able to add, edit, or delete any folders or files. They may only view, copy, comment, or turn in any files from prior years. This is done in an effort to preserve the integrity of these artifacts and truly display what work was accomplished in each academic year.